like this week is a time for you know maybe a little mental, mental physical, and psychological rest for our team. Um, and uh, opportunity to improve. Um, we're going to practice Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of this week. And, whether it's individual, individual groups, or you know, units uh, improvement are all things that we we'll want to focus on and you know, we we'll want to give the players a little exposure to what any of the next four opponents do uh, that's different than what we've seen so far. So uh, that'll be kind of the goals that we have for this week. How much have you even been able to watch LSU at this point? Uh, I, I watched uh, half of I watched Auburn's offense versus LSU's defense. That's all I've had a chance to watch so far. So what do you think based on watching that a little bit? No opinion. They got a good team, they're a very good team and they got a good defensive team and you know, we're we're really not gonna start on LSU till Thursday. You know, players get stale if you work on the same team for too long, so uh, we got a lot of other things that we're trying to clean up and do between now and then, so that's not really the focus. And I was really watching Auburn's offense, if you want to know the truth about it. Nick, after the game, Matt kind of understated his performance, said it really wasn't that big of a deal. How big of a deal was that for him moving forward? I, I think it was good for his confidence. Uh, I think he'll learn a lot from it. Uh, and even though we were very pleased with you know, the things that he did in the game, there's obviously always things that you know, we made mistakes on that we could improve, and uh, I'm sure this will be a, a, a really good learning experience for him and a really big confidence builder for him uh, for the future. So um, we were pleased with what he was able to do. He did a nice job of executing, kept it simple, uh, did his job well, didn't make it too complicated, and I think that's really kind of the key to the drill. Nick, where do you think the defense is taking the next step, or where do you think it's improved the most in the well, you know, I think we're trying to make progress. Uh, I, I think, you know, when we've had uh, Terrell Lewis and Anthony both, you know, on the field, it's really helped the pass for us. We play those two guys together a lot, especially in nickel. So we've been able to affect the quarterback a lot more, you know, when those two guys are playing. Uh, we still, you know, have a ways to go in terms of being execute, ability to execute together as a group. Uh, without making, you know, mental wear here, mental wear there, that leads to plays. Um, because I think when you get in close games, you know, those kinds of things can really, really hurt you. And as a team, we still uh, get far too many penalties, too many undisciplined type penalties that uh, we need to clean up and give people too many extra opportunities, whether it's on third down or, you know, fourth and three, you line up offsides on a punt return where you know you're just going to fair catch the ball. I mean, you're giving people extra possessions on offense, and when they have good players and good teams, those things can really hurt you. How much do the next two workouts, you said no LSU until Thursday, that you enjoy as a coach where you get to, it's just focus on trying to work on the things that need to be done? Well, I like all the practices. You know, I like it when we're focusing on you know, what we need to do to improve. I like it when we're trying to strategize for the next team that we're going to play and uh, try to teach the players you know, what they need to know to be able to implement the plan against those strategies. So, you know, I enjoy all of it. Um, so we just take them one day at a time and try to get the most out of every day and be where your feet are and control what you can control in that moment. And that's been, you know, the thing I think that can help the players the most and can help us the most as coaches. What will be the approach to it when he is able to return to practice? And we just have to see what he can do and evaluate you know, his mobility and his performance and, you know, that, that can't, can't really predict any of those things. Just kind of let it happen and see how it goes. And I think Wednesday will probably be the first day he's back out on the field. He's, you know, been on the Ultra G now and uh, progressing well on that, which is usually the protocol for how we bring players back that have, you know, lower extremity type injuries. Based on how well his rehab's gone at this point, is it fair to say that you guys are pretty optimistic at this point? That he's we're, we're, available? I just said we're not making any predictions. So is it fair to question that? No, I, we can't know. I, I, I can't know. I got no crystal ball. I don't know how he's going to do in Wednesday's practice. I don't know how he'll do after that. So is it fair to say I don't know? It is fair to say. Yeah, I don't know. Nobody knows. Is there a that you want him to get to 
that you feel comfortable with? No. I, I, if, if he can perform to the best of his ability, we're not going to put him in a situation where he can't perform. All right? And if he can perform, he'll be able to play. If he can't perform, then he won't play. One more. We done? We have a penalty. So, no more hypothetical questions? Yeah. I, I love them, okay. you know? <laughs> I mean... Is that phone? All right, Rory, hypothetical? It's not hypothetical. Do you have a date where you want, where you need to know by? <laughs> Do you have a date <laughs> We wouldn't you, share no. that, probably, if we did. No, I don't, I don't really have a date. I, I have a date that I need to know, can the guy play well enough? To perform well enough to help the team have a chance to be successful. All right. Whenever thanks, that thanks. day comes, that's when we'll let you know. Thanks, okay.